So I just got to deliver some glorious news to an employee of mine. Glorious news that he was, of course, wholly unprepared for and his life will never be the same. Love it whenever I get to do shit like that. See, he called into work on Monday. That's not a big deal. We'll take care of it. I don't even know why he called in. He just called in. Said he wouldn't be able to be there. Not a problem. Then, on Tuesday, 6 o'clock in the morning, I get another message. Hey, man, I'm not going to be able to make it to work. Not a problem. Third day, Wednesday, he calls up. He's like, look, man, I apologize. I am very sorry. I am not going to be able to make it to work today. I was like, dude, you have missed three days in one week, three days in a row. What in the hell is going on? He's like, man, my girlfriend is sick. I'm like, dude, if she's this sick, you need to take her to the hospital. He's like, that's the thing. Like four o'clock in the morning, six o'clock in the morning, eight o'clock in the morning, she is throwing up uncontrollably. And then she gets a little better. It's like, okay. He goes, I don't know what's going on with her. It's like, mm, I might have an idea. He's like, really? I said, yeah, yeah. I might have an idea what's going on with your girlfriend. And uh, he's like, what is it? I was like, well, I don't want to say, right? But there's a really simple test that we can do and we'll be able to figure this out. He's like, really? I said, yeah, let me just swing by CVS, you know, I'll grab the test. He's like, is it easy? I'm like, dude, error proof, like 100%. It's fine. We can even run it twice if you're okay. He's like, all right, so about 6.45 in the morning, I get in my truck, I drive all the way down to where he lives, and on the way, I stop by a glorious CVS. I pick up a two-pack of the test. Take him out of the box, have him in my hand, throw the box in the back of the truck, walk into his house. Meet everybody, sure as shit, she is sick, she is throwing up, she looks like death warmed over. I was like, yeah. Yeah, I think I know what this is. He's like, what is it? I was like, well, there's this chemical called human chorionic gonadotropin. He's like, what the hell is that? I said, it's a, it's a kind of weird chemical, but most women get it at some point in their life. And, uh, you know, once you identify what it is, then you can take care of treating it after that. But it's, it's real simple. Uh, you know, you just got to pee on this stick. He's like, could I have it? I'm like, probably not. But uh, why don't you have your girlfriend pee on the stick? Dude, it is evident that he has no idea what the stick is. Okay? It's like, whoo, over his head. He walks in, hands the stick to the girl. She knows what it is. All of a sudden, from praying to the porcelain gods, as soon as she gets handed this stick, she suddenly has the energy to stand up and be like, I am not pregnant. <laughs> really? Okay. Pee on the stick. I bet you all the money in my pockets versus all the money in your pockets that you're pregnant. Now my employee, he's fucking lost his mind. He's like, what the hell? Pregnant? I was like, yeah. He says, you told me it was some gonadotropin. I was like, I told you it was human chorionic gonadotropin, which is the chemical that a woman's body releases when she's pregnant or has been pregnant for about 10 days. Go pee on the stick, you'll have the answer. She goes in there, she takes a test. I already know the answer. However, that answer is freaking confirmed when I hear her crying. She comes back out shows the pregnancy test to him. He's like, no, man, that, that can't be right. That's right. Um, the test is probably wrong. There's a reason why they literally named it EPT for error proof test. But do not despair. I have another one. Go pee on the stick to confirm it. Sure enough, they peed on the second stick come back out now on the EPT test it says you know 
let the test sit for X number of minutes. I'm gonna tell you right now that's bullshit. Those test results were up in like 10 seconds, all right? Pregnant. Like, yeah, pregnant. Then the words come out of her mouth, I can't be pregnant, I'm not ready to be pregnant. Honey, honey, sweetie pie, that's not how biology works. You decided you were ready to be pregnant the moment you laid down with homeboy. Then he asked me, he's like, holy shit, what am I gonna do? I was like, well, there are traditionally three options that are available to most people. He's like, what are they? And I'm like, oh my God. Woo, back, back, back to the birds and the bees talk. All right, so option number one, um, a lot of times a woman's body will just spontaneously abort the baby for whatever reason, nobody knows, but a lot of women lose the baby that they're carrying. A lot of women don't even know that they're pregnant, okay? So that's one thing that could happen. The second thing that could happen is you could decide that you're gonna keep it and grow it and turn it into a baby. Um, uh, that's the point where you uh, earn the title father. Um, the third option is you could uh, go pay the thousand dollar undo delete fee at some clinic, um, but that's that's your choice. That's that's not that's got nothing to do with me. And he's like, what? No, 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 no. I'm a Christian. We're not having an abortion. I was like, well, then obviously you've just made up your mind. Problem solved. Mystery solved. My work here is done. And he was like, this can't be happening. Oh, buddy. Not only can it be happening, it is happening. <laughs> and you are the star of your own show. Now, long story short, he and his girlfriend are absolutely thrilled to have this baby coming, okay? Like, it was just a shock to them. They didn't realize it was gonna happen. You know, whatever. But they're thrilled. They're gonna have the baby. Glorious times. But the fact that I had to drive out there and walk them through it, ladies and gentlemen, if you are a female puking only in the morning and you have been having unprotected sex with somebody, there is a strong likelihood <laughs> that it's not food poisoning. <laughs> it ain't them tacos you ate. <laughs> it ain't that chicken. You don't have a stomach bug. <laughs> you got a parasite that just happens to be the same species that you are. It's called a child. 